So over the last couple of months, I have been updating some of the staple pieces in my closet and I wanted to update you guys. Over the, the years of YouTube, I've always kind of kept you up to date with what my go-to closet staples are, what some of my favorite pieces in my closet are, and just keep you in the know with some of my favorite pieces that I have on rotation. So over the last few months, there's been a lot of uh, big changes in my life and also my bond day. And I've needed to update a few pieces in my closet as well as, uh, you know, there's always a style evolution, if you will. My favorite pieces have had a little switch up and I also did some major sales shopping like eh, over Black Friday and also in the new year. Like the seasonal sales have actually kind of been insane over the last couple months. And so a few of these things are also still on sale and that's a that's a big thing. I just wanted to share with you, I, like I literally pulled out these staple pieces that I've been loving that I've updated in my closet. I wanted to share with you, but also like I was looking at this rack and I'm like, tell me that this ain't my perfect capsule wardrobe right here. Like if I were to create a capsule wardrobe in my life right now, this would pretty much cover most of my needs. So let's dive in, starting with the H&M 90s loose jeans. Now this is not a new piece by any means, but I just wanted to update you guys and, and continue the love affair that I have with these. Mainly the white and the black pair. The black pair, I wear the most. They're actually disgusting. I pulled them out of my dirty laundry bin, but I just wanted to tell you that there have been many pairs of jeans that I have mentioned on YouTube and worn in my life and been like, these are my favorite, these are my favorite, but I've also really fluctuated in size over the years, specifically pant sizes, and I have a really tough body shape to find jeans for. And when this whole loose, baggy, 90 styles jeans came back out and, and became trendy again, I was just so happy. I just really feel like I found my, my perfect kind of comfort pair of jeans as well as them looking a little bit chic. Only if you're into the baggy jean life. Obviously, if you hate baggy jeans, you're never gonna think they look good, but this pair from H&M, oh, I just, the fit is so good. I have them in both a size six and an eight, actually, depending on how loose of a feel I want. But I had also really never had a good, like, go-to pair of white jeans in, in my closet, and this has just changed the game for me. Obviously, I've been talking about them for, like, over a year at this point, but they're so good. They continue to be my most most worn pair of jeans or style of jeans in my closet. Now we simply must talk about the maxi skirt. I feel like the maxi skirt has changed my life. I know that for those of you who have witnessed these coming in style in the past, this is nothing new for you, but this was kind of a new thing for me and it just really brought and breathed new life into my wardrobe and this kind this skirt in particular really started it all for me. This is a skirt that I bought on Source Unknown Official and I have already worn it to so many things. It's just kind of been like this perfect go-to dressed up skirt and because it's that maxi long length, it just makes me feel so fabulous and fancy, yet I can wear it casually too. It's got a nice slit in the back, so it's nice and easy for walking in, and it's got a nice stretch to it, and it's kind of like a mix of a tailored suiting skirt mixed with a cargo skirt. It's a nice little in-between. It just goes with everything. I love it so much. This skirt just really got me into the maxi skirt trend, and I have since um, just been super obsessed with it. <laughs> and adding so many different colors and styles to my wardrobe, but if I had to pick one, like this has been an absolute staple in my closet since I got it. It's one of those styles that I discovered and I just know that I'm gonna have in my closet forever. The maxi skirt, I'm so happy it's been here to stay. There's been so many fabulous ways to style it and I, yeah, this one has been the one for me. Now I have to talk to you guys about these tank tops because it caused a little bit of a stir. I made a lot of people angry with these tanks because these uh, tank tops are from Totem. I did get these in a nice sale on matches fashion so I didn't pay full price but like a week later they went right back to the full price which was very sad it's not a cheap tank top I understand that but uh, basically up until this point, I have been a full blown bodysuit gal. I have my a Goldie Rian bodysuit and it's a high neck bodysuit that I pretty much exclusively wear if I'm going for a tank top. And I just really didn't have like just your classic low scooped tank top style and this, <laughs> I ordered the gray one first and I was like, oh my God, this fit, this fabric is like super stretchy and comfortable, but it's nice and tight at the same time. And I did go back and order the white and the black. I'm wearing the white one now. I've got the black, these three colors, three staple colors. I have been wearing nothing else since. I wear this under everything. They're just so comfortable and perfect. They wash so well. I've already washed them a thousand times and they've really just um, changed my life in terms of the tank top game. So these have been just a classic tank top style that I just 
didn't previously have in my wardrobe because I, I don't know, I always felt like I was exposing too much. Like I always preferred the high neck before, but I think since my little program era has been popping, I've not been as shy about showing this region, you know? So these have just been making me feel really good and I love them and the quality is freaking exceptional. And I thank my lucky stars every day that I did get them in a 30% off sale because otherwise, <laughs> I understand. I know that the price for a Batamir tank top is hefty, but they have been absolutely a new staple in my closet. These sweet little jersey t-shirts from Elsa Studio. Now, if you didn't know, Elsa is a fabulous supermodel in the world, and she, I don't know how recent it was now. It's recent in my brain, but she created a clothing line with Revolve and Forward called Helsa Studio, and she's been coming out with some pretty fabulous staple products, and I saw these jersey t-shirts. I do regret to possibly inform you that I think these are sold out now, which is too bad, because I was pretty happy with my, my plain t-shirts. I have a white, gray, and a black one, and that kind of covered me. However, when I saw these, I thought, that is so brilliant. First of all, the jersey, very stretchy material, stunning, they're super comfortable, but I always I always tuck my t-shirt in like no ifs ands or buts always I always do like a half tuck a full tuck I'm always tucking my t-shirt in and these are tapered they're tapered and tighter around the waist so you don't have to fuss and worry about tucking them in it's so brilliant it was such a brilliant style and I bought them immediately and I was like yes why have I not thought of this before why didn't I have this before such a brilliant style to have and these are absolutely my new staple go-to t-shirts I don't even know if they came out with the black but if they do if they ever bring this out in the black I'll absolutely buy it and pretty much never need another t-shirt again. The fit is perfect. It's still like nice and oversized on the top, which is the fit that I love. But then you've just got this nice tight tapered bottom, which just makes it so much easier for tucking. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. I hung everything on these like gold metal hangers just for the visual, but just know I don't normally have these hanging on here and I'm scared. I'm like, oh my God, don't give me a dent. Anyway, moving on to cardigans. Cardigans, absolute staple. And I feel like more so, so strongly this winter, I feel like a cardigan and jeans or a cardigan and trousers is all that I have been wearing and layering it up with whatever it may be. But I feel like this winter was really a cardigan winter for me. I really embraced it. And uh, if you guys remember in a previous video, I had talked about wanting a nice plain white cashmere cardigan and I had gone on a hunt for it. I actually bought one from Club Monaco that had like a really strong collar and then like two days after I bought it and posted the video, Kitten A sent me this style which was kind of the style that I wanted, just this classic beautiful buttoned cardigan and I did end up selling my Club Monaco one because I was like I don't, I don't need two of the same thing and this is just a beautiful plain gorgeous creamy cashmere cardigan and it was just, it just filled that staple void that I was missing in my wardrobe and I have worn this so much and it's one of those pieces that you'll absolutely have forever. I really need to be good about like using my little debobbler on it and instantly became a staple in my closet. So this has been beautiful and has already, she's got so much love. And then speaking of cardigans, I did want to mention the two that I picked up new in this winter from H&M and H&M has had so many amazing knits this year. These two cardigans here, I got just a nice plain, it's a light beige. We'll go with that. This is a wool and cashmere blend and then this beautiful wool striped one. Oh my god. I know it's so annoying when people talk about things that are no longer available but can I just say if you are looking for fabulous more affordable like premium pieces the H&M knits just never miss. They never miss and I only have good luck online honestly. I do comb the H&M online website quite frequently. I've never found these pieces in store. I don't even know if our local stores here carry a lot of the premium items but the online section just these are so good. They're so good. And this is just the type of fabric that will last forever and I will have them forever. And I love this like big chunky ribbed knit. I love the crop. I think it's the perfect length and I've worn these so much and these will absolutely be a staple for me every single winter. And even like a layering piece in the fall and spring. It's just one of those uh, styles that just stand the test of time. And with those three cardigans, plus my black one from Everlane that I've had forever, I feel like that's just the staples and more covered in my wardrobe. I could just wear those <laughs> on rotation every single Single day and be happy, especially in the winter, just the cardigans for life. So a new category for me this winter has been a sleeveless knit. And I have four pieces here that I have that have really become staples and have become like some of the most worn pieces as of this winter. Because again, sleeveless things used to be something that I would avoid and I've just become really, really obsessed with them and really been enjoying wearing them, especially as a sweaty gal. When you're going in and outside of air conditioning and heating in the winter, having a sleeveless option to wear uh, once you go from the cold into sweating inside has been 
so nice. The sleeveless knits have just become a total staple for me and I found a few fave pieces. And again, this is a style that's new to me and new to my closet and enjoyment and wearing. And I've really been loving it. And this one I just had to mention because this was a sweet, sweet, would you call this a vest? Is this just a sleeveless cardigan? How would you classify this? I don't know, so cute. I got it from the brand Push Button and I bought it in the Essence sale and the sale is still going on. I don't know what the heck. Is this normal for Essence? Is this like a yearly thing? Because their sale has been crazy. A lot of the pieces I'm about to talk about, I also got in the Essence sale. I was obsessed with this. It was giving me total Chanel like vintage vibes and I just thought it was such a beautiful piece. I actually wore it to an event recently. If you guys saw that video, you'll know. Um, but just one of those pieces that I can throw on when I don't want to think about an outfit and I'll just feel fabulous in it, but I can like equally wear it to brunch or to film it. Like this is just such a versatile piece, yet so dressed up and so cute and perfect and just classic colors, obviously, that I can have forever. And the quality is just exceptional. It feels so amazing and I feel amazing in it. And this is just like staple, staple in my closet. And then along the train with the sleeveless style, I just really like went ham on the sleeveless shirts in this program era that I'm living. I'm sorry that I keep calling that. It's just an ongoing joke. You guys get it. This is just a lovely plain sleeveless turtleneck. And this was a gift from Reformation. I got this in PR. So to Reformation, thank you so much. Cause this is just obviously a classic black color that goes with everything that I can wear with everything. And then this is actually another piece that I bought in that same Essence sale. This is from a brand called Arch. And I was kind of just just obsessed with finding these like lighter creamy white ivory pieces ever since I became obsessed with Naomi Watts in The Watcher. It was just like her entire wardrobe in that show is it just was what I wanted my life to be. I'm like I am modeling my closet after Naomi Watts in, in that inspo from The Watcher. So this was kind of just just fit the bill and this one's still it's still on sale on Essence, so I will absolutely link it below for you guys because it's such a gorgeous piece. Staples, classics, I'll have them forever. And I did want to give an honorable mention to the Smythe knit that I dropped some coin on. I actually don't remember when I bought this. Was it last year? Two years ago? I don't remember, but she's been sitting and gathering dust in my closet, and I'm so happy to say that I have pulled her out, and I'm thrilled that I never actually... Um, ended up selling it because I was thinking about it for a long time, but this is just such a gorgeous like statement yet classic knit and it's something that just is an outfit all on its own. And she was pulled back out this winter and already got so much wear out of it. And they do, they do have this also in cream and black. Uh, I do feel like my bases are covered, but if I were to start all over again, this chunky knit is, she is a dream, she is a treasure, and I hope that I have her forever. So I wanna talk about some pieces that I'm replacing. And if you guys have followed me for a long time, you'll know kind of like the staple blazers that I've had in my collection for a long time. But I've realized that a lot of my blazers, A, I've bought them as a solo item and they don't have matching pants, which has been really annoying. And then also like just a lot of the pants that I've had from the past and a few pieces that I've had tailored even, like they just don't fit me anymore. So I've been doing like a really big rejig in just like my pants and my blazers specifically. And I've been thinking, I know this is gonna be crazy because I've said this over and over again that this is a piece I'll never get rid of. I've had it for years and I've mentioned that it's a staple in my piece forever, but my Acne Studios blazer, you guys, I don't know. I've just had this moment where I just feel like it's not the fit that I need or I'm looking for. It's super, super boxy. It's super oversized. And I also never had matching pants for it. I tried to find a pair of black trousers, but it really just doesn't, they're a little bit more flared. And this one's like super wide and boxy. It just doesn't go nicely together. And I was like, you know what? I just, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to waste any more money. Like I'm just going to buy one suit that matches and that fits. And I'm still undecided whether or not I'm going to sell this, but she's literally perfect. The quality is so beautiful, but I just, when I wear it, I feel like I just needed another blazer that fit me better. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it, but that's just the feeling I'm getting. And when I put it on, it's like really wide and boxy, like here. And I want it to be a little bit, you know, it can be oversized, but it can still be like sexier. I don't know. I don't know. I've just, I've just been feeling some type of way about this. So this may be exiting my closet in terms of staples. And while hemming and hawing about that, I did indeed find a fabulous matching suit uh, in the Essence sale. Oh my God, you guys, House of Dagmar is a brand that I love so much and I see so much, but the prices are so, so, so expensive. And I got 
I got two suits in the Essence sale. Still obviously pricey, still an investment. They are staple pieces and obviously can wear them in so many different ways, but I did end up getting this beautiful black wool blend suit from House of Dagmar in the Essence sale. And I'm so happy that I found them in the sale. And even though this blazer is actually like a very different style from the acne blazer that I've had and love, uh, I just find that it's, it's something that I can dress up a little bit more, but still wear casually. It's just got a little bit more of a tapered feel. I think it fits my shoulders a little bit better and I was just really thrilled with this uh, find on sale especially from a brand that's usually so 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 expensive I thought this was such a steal so much so that I also decided to get uh, the beige one I don't think the blazer is available anymore I think the trousers still are but I love the versatility of this blazer gorgeous classic style but then it also came with this fun little belt which I thought was so cute to kind of switch it up and have that little belted look if you wanted something fancier like this with heels boom done gorgeous Again, also got this on the sale, was so thrilled. This, the quality of House of Dagmar pieces, like, <laughs> consider me covered in the suiting department. Thank you, Essence. <laughs> Let's move on to shoes, my friends, because this pair of boots uh, is a pair of boots that I never thought that I would replace in my wardrobe. I have been obsessed with these for so long. I have worn these to death. They're honestly dying. Like they kind of did need replacing because I have battered the toe so badly to the point uh, where it's a little bit beyond repair. The heels can obviously always be replaced, but I've had a big switch up. Ooh, from my totem boots. I never thought I would see the day, I know, because these have just gotten so much love from me. I have talked about these endlessly for so long. With where they just kind of started to sink and the toe has really started to move up, and I know that I can replace the heel, obviously, but um, I kind of just, I was moving into this place where I was just looking for a pointier toe. These have like quite a squared off toe, and because they're like sitting up, I was just feeling like a little bit of a duck waddling kind of. <laughs> and I just decided that if I was going to buy a new pair that I would want something with a pointy toe. It was just something I put in the back of my mind. And then I was uh, strolling the mall one day and I saw these boots. I saw these boots from Acne Studios and I absolutely, it was one of those moments where I gasped out loud and I thought I simply must have these in my closet. Uh, first of all, the heel's a little bit more thick so it's actually much more comfortable to walk in, especially in the winter, than the totem boots which have quite a very thin, small kitten heel. So even though this is still that like kitten heel vibe, it's a little bit more thicker and a little bit more sturdy uh, than the totem ones. And it just has this fabulous little detail on the toe. It's totally pointy. It's a nice thin soft boot so I can wear it under any like jeans and whatnot. And I feel like this just upgraded my wardrobe. Like I've been wearing these for so long and I literally the simplest switch, I know it doesn't look that different from far away, but I felt like I just upgraded my wardrobe. My staple was upgraded. My outfit automatically feels fancier. I feel more chic in it and it was just the smallest little change and I was like oh this just it just felt like it made such a difference in my everyday outfits and this has been a staple that I've replaced again I never thought I'd see that coming I thought I was gonna marry these forever but these have just been so oh my god actually I need to really like give them some TLC because I've already worn them so much I need to give them a good clean they deserve a clean and they need a good protecting spray but yeah these just felt extra fancy and extra sophisticated in my everyday wearing life. Now these shoes aren't necessarily replacing anything in my closet, but it's kind of just replaced all heels in general in my life. And you guys will know what's coming. Obviously I had to mention the freaking white Jimmy Choo heels that I bought <laughs> at Vista Village when I was in the UK. I don't know what it is about the white heel, but these sweet white pumps just go with everything. And I feel like they have elevated all of my dressing up moments. I've always kind of had a little funky funk when it comes to heels. I really struggle uh, with the occasion wear and dressing up, especially when it comes to feet, especially because I have my crinkle toes. There's a lot of those like beautiful strappy styles that don't necessarily look good or are just super uncomfortable for me because I literally walk around like a monkey with my giant knuckles uh, clicking about. So I've always struggled with heels and these are just so comfortable and they're plain, but they're bright and they're a classic, yet they're trendy and they just make everything look chic as hell and I'm obsessed with them. So happy that I got them. And they've just really upgraded my wardrobe and because of that, again, they're not replacing anything specific, but they've just like really become my go-to staple heel with absolutely everything. And I feel like they've just elevated my wardrobe in a level I never knew was possible and they go with everything and I'm just obsessed with them. And so obviously you don't need to buy Jimmy Choo heels, you can buy whatever white heels, but if you, never considered it and you're looking for something to amp up your dressed up wear, consider a white heel because it has changed my wardrobe and 
changed my dressing up life. So yeah, these, mm. Now I know that's a lot. That's pretty much an entire like capsule wardrobe overhaul. But again, like the quality of these pieces, the style of these pieces, I do, even though I know I've said this before, but I do feel like these pieces are our styles and, and colors and everything that can just live forever in my closet. And I feel like I've been so happy, like the happiest ever with my wardrobe. And like, I've just been feeling a lot more confident with getting dressed and I'm so happy to like rewear all of these things. I have no problem with it. I'm like, I will wear these over and over and over and over and over again till the end of time. I'm good. I mean, especially for, for the winter season. I know we're entering spring. Obviously we're gonna be shedding some layers and getting into some more springy flowy things, uh, but just for winter and staples in general, these have been my most worn and a few things that I have replaced. So I do have a few things on my wish list. nothing too crazy. Obviously, I love to poke around and see what's what's trendy and what's cute and I love to see what's new But in terms of like staple pieces in my closet um, I'm actually really struggling to find like a white sweater <laughs> like a good quality white sweater Literally everything is like ivory off-white cream like it's so hard to find like I just want like a white crew neck cashmere or wool sweater You know, I don't want creamy. I don't want off-white. We've got that covered, but it's so hard to find it's so hard to find a freaking white sweater. If any of you have any pieces that you know of, please do let me know in the comments down below because it's really hard to find just like a good crisp white, which honestly is probably for the best because I do wear fake tan, I wear bronzer. I have destroyed a lot of white things in the past, but it is something I'm on the hunt for and I have my eye on. And also speaking of white, um, I have this beautiful braided belt that I got from Banana Republic. You guys know I've been obsessed with this. I've talked about it so much, but this is also like, I don't even know what you call this. This is like a light beige. It's like a creamy beigey like gray, you know, it works, it works. It goes with things, I love it and I wear it so much, but I would love a white leather belt. I feel like that would complete a lot of outfits for me and it's it's a gap that's missing. I wear this one and my black leather belt so much, they're perfect, but I would love a, a white leather belt. So that's it you guys, that's a little closet update for you, some new staple pieces that I have been loving and wearing endlessly in my closet and I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously everything that I'm able to, I will link down below in the description box for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. I'd love to hear from you guys. What staple pieces do you have in your closet and what pieces are you loving? And also please let me know any upcoming content that you wanna see from me for spring because spring is upon us. The sun is out. I am so happy this winter has been long. Ah, love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon for a new video. Bye.